Welcome to HVAC exam practice test. Our topic today is oil and combustion. Use the link in the description to download the app on the App Store for free practice tests. Number 1. Natural gas needs to reach a concentration between which of the following ranges to become combustible? A. 6 to 12 percent mixed with air. B. 4 to 14 percent mixed with air. C. 3 to 16 percent mixed with air. D. 2 to 18 percent mixed with air. The answer is B. 4 to 14 percent mixed with air. Explanation. The range of flammability of natural gas is between 4 and 14 percent when mixed with air. Air is a mixture of oxygen and nitrogen. Mixtures above 14 or below 4 are either too rich or too lean to burn. Number 2. If the combustion process is complete, how much carbon monoxide should be measured in the flue gases? A. Only about 5 percent. B. No more than 3 percent. C. Only about 1 percent. D. No measurable quantity. The answer is D. No measurable quantity. Explanation. If combustion is complete there should be minimal or no carbon monoxide measured in the flues gases of the appliance. Number 3. What will an increase of gas pressure cause? A. A decrease of gas velocity and no change in primary air. B. An increase of gas velocity and a decrease of primary air. C. An increase of gas velocity and an increase of primary air. D. An increase of gas velocity and no change in primary air. The answer is C. An increase of gas velocity and an increase of primary air. Explanation. Increasing the gas pressure increases the Venturi effect created by the flow of gas into the burner. This increase will increase the volume of air pulled into the burner to mix with the fuel. If the pressure is increased too much gas spillage may occur as the burner Venturi may not be large enough to accommodate the increased volume of fuel and air. Number 4. What is true about flame speed? A. It can be measured with a velometer. B. It can be measured with a carbon dioxide analyzer. C. It can exactly be known by the technician. D. It can only be estimated by the technician. The answer is D. It can only be estimated by the technician. Explanation. Flame speed for a natural gas Bunsen type flame is 11 inches per second and can only be estimated by a technician. Flame speed is affected by the temperature of the flame and the volume of excess air supplied to the flame. Number 5. What should the flow rate of flue gases be? A. Well above the manufacturer's designed rate to be sure the flue gases are vented. B. Close to the manufacturer's designed rate but it can be raised quite a bit if needed. C. Well below the manufacturer's stated rate, never at the designed rating. D. Maintained at manufacturer's designed rate to allow the heat exchanger to absorb the energy. The answer is D. Maintained at manufacturer's designed rate to allow the heat exchanger to absorb the energy. Explanation. Heat exchanger efficiency is based on a controlled flow rate of hot combustion gases through the heat exchanger. Manufacturers carefully design furnaces to supply a specified heat output. Heat output and furnace efficiency is dramatically reduced if flue gas flow is not properly controlled. Number 6. Which of the following is the most abundant in Earth's atmosphere? A. Carbon dioxide. B. Oxygen. C. Nitrogen. D. Hydrogen. The answer is C. Nitrogen. Explanation. The Earth's atmosphere largest volume gases are oxygen 20.95% and nitrogen 78%. There are many other gases in the atmosphere. Number 7. 
What can turbulation of hot flue gases do? A. Slow the rate of flue gas flow, keeping the gases in the heat exchanger longer. B. Speed up the rate of flue gas flow, keeping the gases in the heat exchanger longer. C. Slow down the combustion process and prevents soot in the burner. D. Increase the combustion process and keeps the gases in the heat exchanger. The answer is A. Slow the rate of flue gas flow, keeping the gases in the heat exchanger longer. Explanation. Turbulation of flue gases is designed by the manufacturer of the furnace and is specific to achieve the manufacturer's designed rate of heat transfer and heat output of the furnace. Number 8. In what unit is carbon monoxide measured? A. Molecules per minute. B. Feet per second, FPS. C. Parts per million, ppm. D. 1% carbon monoxide equals 20,000 ppm. The answer is C. Parts per million, ppm. Explanation. Carbon monoxide is measured in parts per million, and 1% is equal to 10,000 parts per million. Number 9. What is the maximum amount of carbon dioxide that natural gas produces? A. 10.5%. B. 11.7%. C. 12.6%. D. 14.1%. The answer is B. 11.7%. Explanation. Natural gas produces a maximum carbon dioxide of 11.7%, based on the amount of methane in the fuel. Number 10. What does carbon monoxide bond with when it is inhaled into the lungs? A. Hemoglobin in the blood to form carboxyhemoglobin. B. Hemoglobin in the blood to form blood clots. C. Blood cells to form clots. D. Blood cells to form white cells. The answer is A. Hemoglobin in the blood to form carboxyhemoglobin. Explanation. When carbon monoxide is inhaled into the lungs, it bonds with hemoglobin in the blood to form carboxyhemoglobin. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for updated videos every week.